Amos accused me of having an affair. So I told him that the charge was erroneous. Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Flynn is twisting this evidence to draw conclusions that are specious and... Uh... Erroneous? Exactly. <laughs> Kelly, do you know the meaning of the word perjury? Yes, I do. You also know that it's a crime? Yes. I mean, for example, if it turns out that you knew that this diary was a fake, I hate to think of you rotting away in prison for the next 10 years, especially since you just won your freedom. Look, all I know is what I was told. Oh, so, all right, so you, you didn't find this diary in Roxy's cell? No. Mama. Miss Morton gave it to me. She said someone had sent it to her. Someone. Any, you, any idea who this mysterious benefactor might be? No, she didn't know. All right, let's see if we can work this out. Someone who writes about mm, reneging on pledges and, and, and erroneous charges. Call me crazy. Doesn't that sound like a lawyer to you? A lawyer. A lawyer who obviously had a sample of my client's handwriting. Mr. Harrison, didn't you ask... Roxy, to write out a confession for you? Yes, but you're not suggesting that I tamper with evidence, are you? No, 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 no. I, no I, let's, don't be ridiculous. No, that's thoroughly and utterly absurd. But now that you mention it... Your Honor, this is outrageous. It's outrageous, I know. Outrageous. You can suggest that the prosecutor would make a thieves' bargain with a notorious Velma Kelly and then fabricate the very evidence and set her free. Your Honor, so Velma Kelly. Win another not case here. and move one step closer to the governor's mansion. The governor's mansion. beyond all of that. Oh, you in contempt? No, it is not even conceivable. But, but if it were, wouldn't it be time to say, "Come clean, Mr. Harris, and come clean, even in Chicago." This kind of corruption. Rest.